Hello guys, what's up? 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 What's just out quickly in the shed. Now this is going to be a super quick video. It's going to be a super quick video uh, today. My shed is a mess. Ta -da, there is stuff absolutely everywhere in here. Ta -da -da -da. Quick tour of my <laughs> Guys, I'm not joking either. There is stuff everywhere in here at the minute. It's just an absolute mess. I've got boxes of props and parts and stuff and crap everywhere. Anyway guys, look this is just a wee quick video I wanted to show you here da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. As if you already haven't already heard about this This is the new Mamba uh, F722 Let's just call it the new Mamba F7 stack with a 50 amp ESC And uh, Some job, I tell you 4-6S, it accepts 4-6S And uh, Loads of yards on it, LED controller on it, Bluetooth built in, so you can now forget about your Bluetooth uh, dongles uh, for connecting the Speedy B apps and stuff on either iOS or Android. It's already built in here, the Bluetooth module is built in here, and you can connect directly to the Bluetooth module. Not on the fly, mind you, but once you've landed and disarmed, then you can connect to the Bluetooth module. You can go into your parameters. And adjust your settings and stuff, which is quite handy in the field now. I know you can use Beta Flight OSD and you can change in there, but sometimes you don't always like I can do that too at the minute, but sometimes I like to come and hook up the Beta Flight and just have a wee look at things because it's not the same in the goggles. So with the app, now at least you can use the app and you can check things on the on the on the go when you're out in the field, just connect boom away you go in the app and that's you you've got access to all the parameters and can see a lot of information that you don't really have in the goggles. So this is the wee stack and let's dive in and uh, we'll have a wee closer look at this jobby. Alright, yo ho! So guys, here we have it, the uh, the new Mamba F722, or the F7 for short if you want to call it. And this is the stack, obviously you can buy them separate from uh, Diatone or other vendors or whoever else, but you can buy the, the, the flight controller separate from the stack. I think it's about $40 each. There's only got it $40 for the flight controller, $50 for the... The four money I see you can buy them both for I think about seventy nine dollars. So about fifty quid, fifty five quid or something for this wee stack. Now we know that's a bit more expensive than the previous F four stack, but this has a, a lot more going for it. This is the F seven two two, and it has uh, six yards. Obviously, one's going to be for your uh, for your uh, radio, so S bus or I bus. And uh, then you have uh, all your other TXs and RXs down there, so you're probably going to use for smart audio. So that's another one. GPS, if you add it, you know, you're not long in using yards up, to be honest with you. You know, it's not too long until you have them used up. But uh, you suppose you could do soft serial and maybe get two into one as well if you need, need it to. Uh, the good thing about this wee board is that like, we know it's uh, running now, it's got built in Bluetooth. And that, that's the wee small antenna for the Bluetooth down here. So you've got the antenna built on the board. It's LED controller and it has good LED connections in uh, every single corner. So for your forearms of your uh, frame. And then there's another reel here for another LED. So everything is really, really, really well thought out. This wee board, you know, it's got the MPU6000 uh, gyro on there. Or accelerometer, whatever you want to call it, the IMU. Uh, Beta Flight OSD, OSD chip on there. Uh, there's not really much more I can say about it other than it seems to me, now I got this as uh, one of the beta testers uh, offers, not beta tester offer, but well I got it cheap. It still cost me 30 quid, but that's not very much considering uh, it comes with a 4-in-1 ESC and it's capable of running 4 to 6S. I'll probably end up running this on uh, 4S to be honest with you. But anyway, yes, yeah, so it's got Beta Flight OSD, it's got a black box, 16 meg uh, flash memory, 6 yards, uh, telemetry, ESC telemetry, LED controller, Bluetooth on it, uh, smart audio, well, there be no smart audio, RSSI, buzzers, uh, all that sort of good stuff, uh, BEC on it, it's got a 5 amp, 2, or 5 volt, 2 amp, and a 9 volt, 
uh, 2 amp uh, supply on there as well. So guys here we have the Formon ESC. Uh, it's a 3 to 6S compatible. Uh, although it says on the board it says uh, 4 to 6S there it can actually take 3 to 6S uh, but 12 to 25 volt. It's 50 amp uh, ESC so 450s uh, 50 amp ESC 55 burst uh, it's capable of taking D shot 1200 and it's pretty neat and well thought out. Plenty of wee caps on the side here although it probably need to capped off a bit more if you're on a success and it does come supplied with another capacitor in the kit. We'll have a quick nose here. Uh, looks like a Panasonic capacitor but it's not Panasonic. No make. Uh, 35 volt 470 microfarads so yeah it comes with a capacitor there anyway. If you need it I'd probably stick it on no matter what was running for success anyway. But good clean we uh, ESC, nothing wrong, positive and negative connections on it, shunt resistor, uh, so it's got a current sensor, all the feds look well, looks really well thought out, sits well, and then the bottom of it here is uh, coated with like conformal coating, which is a nice touch, now it really does look well, I have to say, the wee kit, the wee stack, I have the Mamba stack in uh, two other builds, and I have to say the Mamba stack's brilliant and then I have uh, also have the iFlight F7 in another build and I have a spare F405 here as well a wee spare F405 there just to keep as a backup you know I got it cheap one time but uh, guys I'm telling you for all the price of this wee thing you know, to be honest with you, now obviously if you don't want an F7 or you don't want to fork out this money, you don't have to buy the buy the F4 version. The F4 version now you can get for like 30 quid. 30 quid for a flight, F4 flight controller and a 40 amp ESC, 41 ESC. Sure, there's you couldn't buy an F a flight controller and four ES separate ESCs for that. I know people have their thoughts on the 41. And I never used to like the Forum 1 ESC. I personally used to like the one flight controller, the AIO boards, and then the four ESCs on the arms. But lately I've got into the Forum 1 ESC. I've seen somebody posting on some of the groups there, but the ESCs constantly burning out and damaging boards. And yes, if your ESC goes up in smoke, unfortunately it's mounted always nearly nine times out of ten, it's mounted directly below uh, the flight controller. And right above it is the main processor and obviously it goes up in smoke and then the next thing is it's uh, burning out the processor. So yeah, if the 41 ESC goes up in smoke, the next thing is you're taking out the flight controller and the whole thing's buggered. You know, which is sad really, but that's just part of the parcel of the game where we all know the risks in this game. You know, it's FPV, we're in it for fun. It's sad when your shit blows up. It really is sad when you you have an accident, and you crash, and your shit smashes off the ground into a billion bits, and you can cry about it till the cows come home. But there's nothing you can do about it. It's like the if a ESC goes up in smoke, and it's just a freak accident, or you have a short, or a wire burns out, or something happens to a motor in the windings go, or something gets in and does it, and it shorts, and the ESC smokes. Well, guys, that's just tough shit listen anyway yes tough shit so that's the mamba f72 f722 flight controller f7 really with a 50 amp 4 and 1 esc as far as i can see it's a great little combo and um, waiting for parts coming here this is uh, the alien build we're going to build this up with the xc 2207 uh, 2750 kv motors here i'm just in the middle of sort of building it i'm waiting for the camera to arrive and then the screws that I had to go up through there to mount. I'm going to do away with the standoffs on this flight controller as well. And I'm going to put bolts right up through uh, and stack it on the bolts. But unfortunately these wee bolts aren't just long enough and they're they're only steel. So I've ordered some new titanium bolts. Should be here tomorrow I reckon. So maybe get a bit of progress and uh, we'll get this bad boy built. Right guys, so yes, that's the, the wee flight controller, the, the Diatone Mamba F7 uh, flight controller with the ESC. As far as I can see it looks brilliant, it really does. I can't wait to get it in this build here. And uh, I'm not too sure what beta flight uh, firmware I'm going to flash it with yet. I might stick it on C57 because I'm confident with C57. My flip mode up there, I had it out today guys, I had it out this morning maybe. You've seen the previous video here in YouTube and it's also on Facebook. That's on beta flight 402. Uh, I got a got a CLI dump 
from uh, Stephen at the uh, uh, Superfly, and uh, I had all I had to do was adjust some of the PIDs. Uh, from the last time I flew, it, I adjusted the PIDs. I'd been in the hospital, hadn't got the flat, but I got some props from uh, Dalprop, and they came, and I was just messing about with them, and I stuck the set of seven, or fifty-two forty-nines on it just to see. Just to <laughs> I had no faith. I didn't think it was going to work. My God, it flew brilliant. I was loving it. I swear to God, I was buzzing. I was absolutely buzzing. It was like, not my first time flying, but I was really enjoying it and getting into it, you know. A wee bit shaky and wobbly, but I can't help that with my hand, you know. And it's, But I, I was buzzing. I was out in the field and I had a great wee fly, so. But I know Thief 57, and now all my other builds, except for the flip mode, is on Thief 57. So I'll maybe just stick it on Thief 57 to see how it flies first, and then, because I still am. We got them cheap. Me and I, I think 200 of them gone for that price, so. Uh, 30 quid obviously had to pay to be a beta tester but still I couldn't give up the I couldn't resist it do you know what I mean uh, for everything it has on it for that price so I bought it I know it's more expensive now guys and you're having to buy it 80 dollars 55 60 quid but if it works and I'm sure there'll be plenty of videos floating about YouTube and Facebook and stuff now have a look this will be flying if all my parts arrive tomorrow if the camera arrives tomorrow and the bolts arrive tomorrow I might have this flying built tomorrow night. Maybe if I get a chance and flying on Sunday, and I'll do a wee video to let you see it flying on Sunday. But we'll see anyway. I don't know for sure. We'll just see if the parts arrive. Hopefully they do. Right, guys. But anyway, that's me. I'm heading off now. Catch you all later. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll chat with you again soon. Yes. So that's it. Bye bye. Shampoo. Hee hee. What's up?